are deeply connected with the CBC, and one is actually a Trudeau scholar, of course, and bearing the name of, uh, of the current Prime Minister, but uh, named after his father. And so we see deep connections with... Uh, with uh, thank you. Um, Minister, as you know, the CBC falls under your portfolio. It's taxpayer-funded, um, therefore deserving the utmost transparency with regards to how those tax dollars are being used. We had the CBC CEO, Catherine Tate, here at committee just a few weeks ago. And when I asked her about executive bonuses for 23-24 and whether or not they had been given out and how much, she said that they had not been given out, um, that no bonuses had been granted. However, based on an official report tabled with the House of Commons just in the last little bit, um, it shows that actually the, the bonuses have been given out for that year, and it's to the tune of $15 million to the top executives. Um, it works out that an average executive bonus then given to the CBC for 23-24 was $65,000. That's a, that's a one-time bonus for the year. On average, $65,000. That's more than the average Canadian makes in a salary. Does it concern you that your hand-picked CEO, Catherine Tate, lied to us here at committee? May I respond, Mr. Chair? I will repeat what has been previously said. There's a part of the salary over 1,000 employees at CBC Radio-Canada, and part of that depends on meeting performance quotas. For 2023, these decisions are up to the board and with regards to the CEO of CBC Radio-Canada, we're expecting a recommendation follow from the board following the study to see whether or not objectives were met. And, the, and, then, uh, and rather, a decision has not been made to date. You, um, the minister is not answering my question. She's choosing to avoid it. The question was, does it concern you, Minister, that the CEO for the CBC, Ms. Catherine Tate, came to this committee a few weeks ago and lied to us? She told us that no bonuses for the year of 23-24 had yet been given out, when in fact a, t a document tabled with the House of Commons shows that $15 million worth of bonuses were given out. Interestingly enough, those bonuses were given out to 100% of the executive team, meaning every single member got their full bonus to the tune of averaging $65,000 a year. Minister, my question is very clear. Does it concern you that the CEO of the CBC came to this committee and lied to us? Je rejette absolument les affirmations de ma collègue. My colleague is insulting the CEO of Radio-Canada CBC every time she has the opportunity to do so. There was a letter sent to the committee with all the information that she had already previously given at the committee. Again, I understand what is stated in the letter. I also understand the official document that's been tabled with the House of Commons. Bonuses were given out to the tune of an average of $65,000 a year to the top executives of the CBC. I'm wondering if it concerns the minister that the head of the CBC, Ms. Catherine Tate, came here and lied to us. Does it concern you? Encore une fois, je pense que la présidente... Again, I believe that she had responded to questions on how bonuses were given out and the decisions made for 2022-2023. To my knowledge, for 2024, that ended March 21st, 2024, and a decision has not been made yet. Minister, I would encourage you then to inform yourself of your file. I have a document that was tabled from the Privy Council with the House of Commons in front of me. It shows that bonuses for 23-24 were given out, that it was to the tune of about $15 million to the executives at the CBC, and it averages about $65,000 just for those within the executive category. Minister, does it concern you that the head of the CBC came here to this committee and lied to us? Point of order, Mr. Chair. Point of order, yes. Um, while I appreciate um, Ms. That. Thomas's question, or the, what, what she's trying to get at, I think the idea that we are calling somebody a liar um, when there are facts and evidence that would not necessarily back up that assertion, I think is is a bit problematic. And asking the minister to weigh in on whether or not somebody is lying or on on an accusation of a lie 
steps with, outside with, the with bounds of what we should be doing. Okay, um, Mr. okay. Well, continue, um, please, Minister. I'll repeat what I just said. Those bonuses were for 2022-2023 and not 2023-2024. 2024 ended on March 31st, 2024. And so I will repeat again that that's part of the employees' salaries. That's part of their working conditions that are linked to meeting performance goals. And they do assessments. And when the Harper government arrived in power, can I can I finish my answer? One minute left, uh, Ms. Thomas. Uh, point of honor. Uh, okay, Ms. O'Connell, welcome. In committee, it is customary that the minister, the witness, is given the same amount of time to answer the question as asked and not to be interrupted. I think the Conservatives are having a bit of a tough math day and maybe didn't want to hear that, but well, it's important that we respect okay. the rules of this committee. Ms. Thomas, go ahead with your question. I think you Chair, have one minute I left. Chair, I do have a point of order, though. Point of order, um, Ms. Damoff? Just this morning at... Um, the PROC committee, we had the translation bureau there, and they were talking about injuries to the translators. And one of the issues is, is when there is more than one person speaking at the same time. It's, it's extremely difficult and harmful for the translators. Okay, thank so you. If, we'll thank move you. on. Ms. Thomas, you have exactly one, 59 seconds left. Um, Minister, I will, I will make sure that I make that document publicly, public so that you can see that it is for the year 23-24. Um, Ms. Tate says that she deserves a bonus, but here's the case. CBC, trust is down, viewership is down, revenue is down. In your opinion, does the CBC CEO, Catherine Tate, deserve a bonus? Je vais encore rectifier. I would like to state the facts again because my colleague does not seem to understand the document. These performance bonuses that were given out to over a thousand employees, that's part of their salary for 2024. That was for the year 2023. I just would um, The question was, does the CBC CEO, Catherine Tate, deserve a bonus when viewership is down, trust is down, and revenue is down? Her performance has been abysmal. Does she deserve a bonus? Bon, alors, uh, quand on veut, uh, tuer un if we want to put down a dog, we accuse it of having rabies. So let me state the facts. There are many people who use the CBC website, 17 million. And I'm sorry, we'll go to the Liberals. We move to for the second round. Minute. It's a five-minute round for the Conservatives. Rachel Thomas. Um, Minister, do you approve of Ms. Tate, the head of the CBC, scrapping hundreds of jobs while simultaneously giving out $15 million worth of bonuses to executives? Je pense que les actions de notre gouvernement est claire concernant le futur de CBC Radio Canada. I think that our government's actions have been clear. Unlike the Conservatives that made significant cuts in the public broadcaster, and they're still saying today that they would cut funding to CBC Radio Canada and that they would destroy our public broadcaster. We have shown through significant investments that em employment is important and the radio... Thank you. Um, Minister, my, my question was simple. I, I realize you probably don't want to answer it, but it is very simple. Do you approve of Ms. Tate, the head of the CBC, giving $15 million worth of bonuses to top executives while slashing hundreds of jobs? Ben, je tiens à rappeler qu'on a fait des investissements, notamment... We've invested in the 2024 budget, and my colleague has already announced that the Conservative Party will be voting against, and I think she is the one who wants to bring cuts to jobs at CBC Radio-Canada. So, Minister, you're okay then with the head of the CBC, Ms. Catherine Tate, cutting hundreds of jobs just before Christmas, making that announcement, while giving $15 million to top executives? Je pense que ma collègue attaque constamment CBC Radio. I think that my colleague is constantly attacking CBC Radio-Canada, even though she would take down the public broadcaster. But the reality is that the public broadcaster is facing pressures just like all other media that depend on advertising. And my colleague was opposed for years for us legislating web giants. 
It, you've made it really clear that you have no respect for this committee or the process that is being undertaken. Um, the, the question was, the question was simple. Coming from the person who told me to speak in French last time. Uh, well, she wastes it, it's it. paused. You're at 3.07. Thank you. Yeah. Go ahead, Ms. Thomas. Minister, this year, uh, just in the last few months, you promised the CBC an extra $1.4 million, um, but there was no conditions attached to this. Why? That represent the, represents the different payrolls and collective agreements that were negotiated with employees. So no conditions attached, and therefore the head of the CBC was able to scrap hundreds of jobs while giving $15 million worth of bonuses to top executives because this faux. minister sitting right faux. here failed to hold the head faux. of the CBC accountable. That's faux. shameful. Faux. I transfer my time to uh, Mr. Philip Non, mais je vais répondre parce qu'on m'a invité pour répondre à des... We invited me here to respond to questions, and so it is absolutely false that there are no conditions attached because it is part of legislation that CBC Radio-Canada needs to offer these services to Canadians. It's very impolite to not let me answer. Going on, Mr. Lawrence. Point of order, Mr. Uh, Chair. Point of order. 13 left. Uh, Mr. Noor Mohammed. Mr. Chair, I believe it is the duty of the chair. Yeah, and I did. Uh, right. You did not let me finish my point yeah. of order, Mr. Chair. So if you'd like to do this, I'm happy to do it, but I'd like to have the conversation that I'm entitled to have as a member. Fire away. Thank you. Mr. Chair, a comment slash question was addressed to the minister. The minister should be afforded the time, however brief, to respond, which she Actually, was not given. Uh, no, Mr. Uh, Noor Mohammed. <laughs> Ms. Thomas gave the chair over to Mr. Lawrence. After asking a question. Didn't really ask a question. In my interpretation, it was a comment. Then it was to Mr. Lawrence. So Is that how the chair is going to operate going forward, just so we're clear? Yeah. In Mr. Lawrence, fashion. go Thank ahead you. for two minutes and 13 seconds. Uh, thank you, thank you, Minister, and thank you for being here today. Um, the as a, on on May on May thirteenth, two thousand twenty four, you uh, you announced the appointment of an advisory committee to help you in making uh, future decisions about the CBC uh, and help determine the future. I, I think we would both agree that there can be partisanship in these halls. Uh, you might have even seen some today. Um, and so it's very important, though, that when we make decisions going forward about Radio Canada and CBC, that it be nonpartisan. Would you agree with, with that to presupposition? The public broadcaster belongs to the government and not to a political party. And I, my decisions are based on... Canadians' interests, regardless of their political allegiance. Thank you for that response. However, the, I'm, I'm a little bit challenged just looking at the uh, looking at the individuals who are part of this because uh, I believe four of them are CBC in, insiders. They had a large amount of time with the CBC, are deeply connected with the CBC, and one is actually a Trudeau scholar, of course, and bearing the name. Of, uh, of the current prime minister, but uh, named after his father. And so we see deep connections with, uh, with liberal insiders and with respect um, to the Trudeau family. And we've obviously, we've seen a history of this. Are you not concerned as I am about the partisanship of this, uh, of this advisory board? Ben, premièrement, c'est vous qui êtes en train de faire de la partisanerie autour du... You're the one who's making this partisan regarding the public broadcaster, not me. I find it interesting that my colleague is saying that there should have been, or rather that nobody who worked at CBC Radio-Canada should be a part of that when we're talking about a public, public broadcaster and we're talking about the importance of how it functions. I'm quite surprised. The committee is made up of experts with different backgrounds, My, my assumption, even stepping away a little bit from the partisanship stuff, is that, is that you would want a fresh voice. And we've got a series of CBC insiders as well as a Trudeau scholar. That, that doesn't give you some pause, Minister? Ben, quand vous parlez de CBC insiders, encore... When you talk about CBC insiders, you're the ones making this partisan. This committee is here to help us to talk about things that are good for Canadians. We move for Thursday. five minutes to 